This your boy DJ Jackie Dummies, and now it's so funny when we see savages and niggas that proclaim they're about that life, right? They don't believe in law and order. They believe they can rob, kill, steal. It's all good in the hood. When they get on the stand, because they're going now for fucking murder, the cops has done their job. They start talking crazy on the stand. They start begging for their life. They even start saying, oh my God, no, it's not me. Now, we have a guy from South Florida. He's convicted of murdering two people during a string of Dunkin' Donuts robberies in 2008. Pretty much this fuckboy was going into Dunkin' Donuts and instead of getting his coffee creamed, he was busting caps and killing people. So, once the cops caught him, he's now on trial, or he was on trial, and the the verdict came down that he was fucking guilty. Now, his name is actually James Harrod. And here's the thing, because people, they want to talk up at the wrong time. A lot of people, oh, I don't snitch, I never do this, I never say this, I don't talk to the police, fuck 12. All of that is good and well. Now, this guy, he didn't even testify during his own trial, but once he got found guilty, and there's usually a time period where people could plea for you to get a lesser sentence, he actually chose to address the court. Now, what he addressed the court and said, <laughs> this is, the, I, I actually got to applaud him. Being a true savage that he is, he actually dared the judge to actually give him the death penalty. And you know why? He dared him because, matter of fact, check this out. In what is supposed to be convicted killer James Harrard's last chance to escape the jury's recommendation of a death sentence, Harrard took to the stand and said this. I'm not asking to spare you. Sounds bizarre. Listen to the reason why. Because I know the Supreme Court, you know what I mean, won't allow me to die for something that I didn't commit. While Harrard didn't pull the trigger in the 2008 murder of 39-year-old Eric Jean-Pierre, who was gunned down while he walked home from work, prosecutors say Harrard, along with several other members of a gang, were part of a body count competition, where Therod Bell was the alleged trigger man, adding, Harrard pushed Bell to commit the crime, making him just as culpable. Well, I mean, they, were, they claimed that I encouraged Therod Bell to shoot someone. And how I did that... I don't know. Throughout the morning, both before and after Harrard testified, the defense brought up numerous people, many of them convicted criminals who knew Harrard. Go ahead and do what you're going to do. Pretty much, you know what I mean? I pre I pretty much, I'm pretty much daring you to give me the death sentence. Pretty much. You know what I mean? Because by all means, because I'm innocent. Silly Negro, listen, man, this is Coon Talk 101. It, you hear this guy. <laughs> I dare you to do it because I know they won't. Listen, fucker. You are the same person who was part of the details of the story just tells me fuck them. You and your friends, your gang, your squad was actually participating in a body count competition. Really, nigga? Really? They should, of course, fry you. You were participating in a body count competition. Now, this is how lonely it is when you get to the final moments. And people don't talk about these. This is not the glorified part of our gang life, right? Nobody talks about that in this guy's trial, which has been dragging on for some time. None of his gang members showed up. Nobody showed support. Nobody was actually there. None of his gang members was sitting in the court like Stringer Bell. Nobody gave a fuck. This nigga was off the streets and they probably had another one to replace him. Now, he's trying to dare the judge to give him a life, well, a death penalty. Now, this is the thing he doesn't get. And maybe he's probably angling for an appeal, but... He got to realize, nigga, you're already convicted. They're not thinking about if you're actually guilty or not. They're thinking how hard they should punish you. Now, if you, if you beg for it, they might as well just give it to you. If you wanted to talk about your innocence, you had the case, you had t time to testify, and for your lawyer to, and your lawyer to make the point that you were actually innocent. The fact that you didn't testify, your lawyer obviously didn't do a good enough case, or you were probably just fucking guilty. That's why you got convicted of murder? Yeah, it, you could go ahead and dare the, the uh, police, but yeah, or, or dare the court. But yeah, Negro, you're probably getting what you deserve. You were participating in a body count competition. Do I need to say more? This guy, if not for the crime, should be sent to death for the fucking stupidity. You wouldn't even pull the trigger. You're still going down for murder because you were daring niggas to do it because fuck a knockout game. You was on the shootout game.
It's your boy DJ Academics. Yeah, I feel no sympathy for these guys, and um, you shouldn't either. This is the life they sign up to. I, I just like reporting the end part of it, the, the part where they finally get in and they finally realize the writing's on the wall. It's over for you, Negro. <laughs> it's fucking over. It's your boy DJ Academics. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like it. Definitely subscribe. Yeah, th th this guy is going now, and it's over. He's daring the judge. Nobody gives a fuck about him. His gang ain't there. He's over here talking crazy. The judge probably looking at him like, bitch, nigga, you supposed to beg. <sighs> Get in the comment box. I'm out, man.